Steven Speak Extra Speak, a little more of everything and nothing. Don't forget to subscribe. Hello, welcome to Steven Speak Extra Speak, episode 28. Um, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, starting off today's episode with a quick bit of news about the podcast. Uh, nothing, nothing too in-depth. Um, just a bit of news about... Uh, I received some information today off the hosting site, which I called Buzzsprout, which is the platform I upload all my um, podcasts to, which then distributes down to um, all the other podcast uh, platforms. And it says that I have had 750 downloads um, since starting. And I'm quite pleased with that. I think on average that's that's reasonably respectable per episode. It's not amazing. Don't get me wrong. Tell your friends to listen. Um, <laughs> but, you know, when you start out, you know, and I'm not very consistent with the old social media and stuff. And uh, I, I, think that, I think that's pretty good. You know, it's probably mostly people I know listening to it. Maybe a few people sprinkled in. Um, yeah, and hopefully things can only progress from here in Series 2 where, you know, I'm going to change change it up a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to starting Series 2. I keep saying this. It will it will start at some point. I think I've got the logo down. Just going to re, re, redo the tune and then, and then I'll fix a date and let you all know when, when Steven Speak main episodes will, will return. Um, anyway, onto this episode, I actually know what I'm going to talk about today, which is shocking, really, because very rarely, I, I, apart from when I'm doing a special episode, which is something I've had in my brain, and I, I, Jesus, again, hit the microphone. It wouldn't be an episode without me smashing the microphone. I'm gonna, I, I, I don't know how to get around that smashing the microphone. Uh, cut my arms off or something. I don't know. Tie them behind my back. I don't know. Um, cut my arms off would be a little bit extreme. Um, how would you do that? Because if you got you like a knife in one hand or something, you. You cut one off. Like, how would you cut the other one off? You need a friend. Um. Anyway, I digress. Um. Yeah. So, I was on Time Hop yesterday. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Time Hop is, basically, it's an app that tells you memories from. So basically, it's an app. App you sign into like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all them, all them sort of things, and it basically every day shows you a memory. It drags information from them to, from them service and shows you pictures and posts of what you did on that day a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, five years ago, ten years ago. I don't know how far it goes back, maybe 20 years ago. I don't know if it's only stuff since the app started or whether it will go back further because it's time-stamped. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, that's what that's what it does, basically. And um, I looked at it yesterday, flicked through it, you know, and it's, it's a kind of nice app because um, it shows you nice memories and sometimes you forgot something and or well, sometimes it'll show you a picture that you thought, oh, I'd lost that, and I couldn't, oh, I haven't been able to find it, and I was talking about that the other day to someone. And it's a good way of like retrieving that picture or knowing when it was. Um, but yeah, I was on it yesterday, and it reminded me that seven years ago, uh, me, uh, the girl I was seeing at the time, my best mate Scott, and my brother went down to London at the Albert Hall to watch um, a Star Trek concert. So it was like uh, playing live piece of music, orchestral music, live, uh, and it was bloody brilliant. It was bloody brilliant. And it was, I think it was made a little bit more emotional as well because um, Leonard, Nimoy, Leonard Nimoy, I think, had died that year. Um, I, feel like, I feel like it was the year he died. Am I getting that wrong? I'm pretty sure it was, it was like the same year because I remember there was some, some pieces of music that played and... Um, There'd been a couple of like actors lost, and it kind of made it more poignant. Um, but yeah, it was um, it was it was just like such a great. I mean, I love I love um, listening to live music, special orchestral music, because um, I think I've said on my previous uh, one of my previous podcasts about going down and seeing. Um, have I mentioned this? I feel like I have. I forget what I've said half the time. Um, you know me long enough, I repeat my stories about 20 times. Um, hopefully I don't do that on this podcast. Uh, let me know if I do. But me and my mate went down to watch uh, Star Trek. When you watch, they watch, you watch the film, but they played the live musical score to it. And like it was like, yeah, I did, because I described this this song, the Star Trek the ta- Star Trek end, ending song that was in one of my extras a few weeks ago. Um, and it's just, it's just brilliant. It's so rousing to hear the music played live, and, and you can't really... Um, 
go out from a pair of speakers. I mean, it, you can get really good sound quality, but when you feel the music vibrating in you and it's live and you see the people that are actually playing it, for me that that's just a just an ace feeling. Um, yeah, so we went down to see that. We dressed up because you know you have to dress up. I had her, and we didn't like go full cosplay, but we went kind of semi cosplay. I, I kind of like wore motorbike boots because it looked like the shoes they wore in. In the original series, I had an original series Kirk, like um, uniform top on and black trousers, and my mate wore his uh, Next Generation uh, top. And the girl I was seeing at the time, she kind of went dressed with the Vulcaneers and stuff. It was it was ace. My brother just went my, as my brother. Um, he's kind of an alien anyway. Sorry, Gavin. <laughs> so yeah, it was um, it was it was an ace. It was an ace thing. Let's let's face it. And um, I. That's not even to do with the story. The story is the journey back. Um, get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Uh, so the journey back, we stopped at Starbucks because it was quite late by the time we left. Like, you know, we watched the concert and I think we went for some food and then we went and collected. The, we drove down because we didn't, you know, we want, didn't want to rely on like like getting an early train because the train stopped reasonably early come back as far up the country as we live. So we didn't want to be restricted by that. Same with going down. Um... So we went in the car, and we stopped in the services on the way back. I needed a bit of a caffeine uh, hit because it had been been quite a long day, and um, obviously we were still in our Star Trek regalia. And uh, the guy that served us in Starbucks basically uh, noted this, I think, and it was like, "Oh, guy, what have you been? You've been like a Comic Con or something like that." And we basically told him what we'd been to see, and he was kind of into it, and it was it was really cool. And you know, they take your names and stuff at Starbucks and stuff, don't they? Like so they know whose drink it is if they're busy and uh he took her names and on uh one of our cups he uh he wrote live long and prosper and on another one he wrote Khan! Like that. it was like with loads of a's it was just it made my night i must admit like i think it's like it's customer service like that is just like really cool and like we'd had such an amazing day um you know going around you know going around london doing a little bit of sightseeing chilling out Going to this concert, um, having that emotion of that live music and the event and and all that, all all that surrounded it, and um, and then coming back and having that little interaction with that with that with them couple of guys at Starbucks and uh, and them writing that and it just it just was hilarious and uh, I think it's a little thing sometimes in life, isn't it? It's like like I I was creased. I was like I high fived the guy and I was like I wanted to hug him to be. I'm not gonna lie. Um, he he. He uh, aroused my geekness, and <laughs> um, it is a little bit of a family as well. When like you get into them like, with anything, like really, I think if like you're into motorbikes or cars or or knitting or I'm trying to think of things like hobbies or like Lego. I've got I'm looking at my Lego collection, and I think when you when you make that connection with someone, like it kind of um, you don't feel alone, and I think that's that's the best thing about um, for me. That's the best thing about being who I am, like, it's, it's quite liberating, I think Simon Pegg does a good quote about being a geek, Google it, um, and it's very liberating to just be, be into what you're into, and not hide it, and uh, they weren't hiding it, we weren't hiding it, and yeah, uh, someone writing Khan, Khan, like that, on a cup, and live long and prosper, like, it touched me, it, it touched me, in, in, a, in, a, in a good way, um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, and that that's the extra speak story today. Uh, the joys of um, a Starbucks a Starbucks employee uh, delivering some good customer service um, and appealing to uh, the geekdom, geekdom, the geekiness in in me and my uh, me and my pals. Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, have Have you ever had? something like that happen where you've made that connection really randomly um i don't know it's just it's, i think it's i think it's just nice you know you just sometimes it's just an acknowledgement as well like um it's that whole uh that meme isn't it like you, you, you see you know someone sees you from across the room they recognize like the the really rare t-shirt that you're wearing or the band t-shirt that you know must be an original because you can only get it from a certain gig and they look at you and they kind of do that uh mm, i know 
and you look back and you acknowledge them by kind of like a little wry smile and go, yeah, I know you know. And that's all it needs, and you, you kind of get that like, sense of like, yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I think that's, that's that, 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 yeah, so that's what it's about. Like, just uh, be yourself, I think, is, 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 the, is the message, if there's any message in anything I do. Uh, is be yourself, and um, if you have the opportunities right, Come on any Starbucks cup, then do because it's hilarious and it'll cheer someone up. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for listening. Um, sorry this is late as well because I've been quite busy this week and I completely forgot it was Tuesday again last night. I need to literally like put a reminder on my phone saying it is Tuesday, record the next day's episode so it's not late because I know how you, you know. Judging by my 750 downloads, you are obviously waiting for that to drop. Um, anyway, thank you very much. If you go to my social medias, I'll put the pictures of the Starbucks cups on my Instagram and uh, Facebook. Uh, having said that, I think I'm going to come off TikTok. I'm not really using it. I don't really like it. I feel like I'm too old for it. So um, when I make that decision officially, I'll I'll let you know. But yeah, um, check out the cups because it, it pleased me. So yeah. Anyway, take care of yourselves, and I'll speak to you soon. You've been listening to Stephen Speak Extra Speak. Thanks for listening, and please subscribe.